Hi, it's Erin back for day two, hour 15. Um, our caffeine count, I think, has remained the same at eight, but Bill just said he's going to work on that. So we are going to take it over to Michael and talk about countertop and textures. Yeah, and hi. coffee, are you getting more coffee? Well, actually, um, <laughs> I've been so busy, I haven't even had time to, to, um, <laughs> to drink my coffee here. But anyway, um, Aaron, what I wanted to show you is more the continuing um, interior design materials done from a virtual library and applied in the model rather than doing lots of running around town looking at, at various slabs. So I've been working on... Uh, I've been working on the bar that goes in our great rec room upstairs, and I'm going to show you guys how we select materials. Now, I've applied a soapstone texture. Uh, I'm not sure I like that. I mean, I love soapstone, but maybe here. But anyway, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and I'm going to apply a bunch of different textures here. And we're going to sort of show you guys how, if, if you want to look at this over here, this is my texture library here. I literally have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of countertop samples. I have Gallon Napoleon. I have Copper Canyon. I have Coastal Gray. I have Clay Pebble. I have Coast Costa es Esmeralda. I have Absolute Black. I have Absolute Black Home. You know, just literally thousands of different types of granite here. And so what I'm going to do is I loaded some of those into, um, into SketchUp. And I'm going to go through and apply some of them. And sometimes these textures require a little bit of... Uh, so I, I would have to say that that's probably a little bit more than we want, but it, it's kind of fun for a, a rec, round, rec room. Um, but if you were a client, you, you would have the chance to decide whether that was truly something that you would like or not like. Uh, this looks like a honed absolute black and it's got little starry stars in it and we can adjust this texture um, in various ways but here is another texture more of a white one and I can look these up I'm just not taking the time to do that now here's another granite so you can see just moving through our texture library we can put lots of different um, samples on here and it's really it's really a fun way to play with different materials without having to run all that's really quite black that's an absolute black too um, without having to, to run all over town like I said but you know this is the way we do it these days uh, we, we, we shop in a virtual world and um, we do our interior design in a virtual world and it seems to be um, a much better way to visualize what the final product would be rather than just trying to um, look at a piece of granite take a picture of it and try to wrap your head around uh, what it might look um, you know, if you did the if you did the bar in 2D and um, never got to develop it in 3D. Right. So anyway, let's go over and see what Leah is doing. How long has it taken you to put that library together? It's taken I don't know. We we've, we've got hundreds and hundreds of hours in it. I used to actually look up textures online while I was watching television or something like that and play with them and make them seamless. So I kind of multitask, but. Um, that now that we have the library, it just makes it so much quicker for us to work. I mean, right. clearly, we're, we're doing interior design work and we're applying tile to a 3D model. If we didn't have these textures at hand, uh, there would be no way that we could right. do that. We want to give a shout out to Sarah Austin, who just joined us too. She's one of our favorite realtors here in the high country. So Leo is actually hey, working on some seagrass base here, right, Leo? Yes, yeah, sir. And so he's applying a, a four-inch base around the... Uh, in a bathroom, I would presume. Mm -hmm. Water closet. A water, water closet. Bathroom. Kind of like there the second master. So we're doing a full, um, full wainscot in, in these bathrooms, 42-inch wainscot. Um, and we'll put a, probably a glass liner at the top, something like that. And uh, we do, we like to do a full um, wainscot in our bathrooms, um, but, but it's there's a bit of a price issue sometimes with that. It's additional tile, additional cost. And, but, but we'll usually go down to just a basin and a WC because you know, not too many people are going to be um, studying the tile in the WC or not. Possibly they will be, but anyway, that's looking good, Leo. And you've got some plumbing to go in here. Yep. We've got to put, we're thinking about some um, Kovacs lights in here, some vertical um, the lights like we did on another project. 
mounted directly on the mirror. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. get some plumbing in there, and that bathroom will be about wrapped up. Sounds good. So let's go see what Lars is doing. Josh Riley says, good textures equal a good SketchUp model. And that is something that we hear Michael say all the time. <laughs> I, I, what I say is textures matter. So can we sneak by and see Lars? So Lars, how, how are the windows coming? So oh, awesome. I'm uh, making some progress. There's a that. few things that I'm not loving, but uh, after this update, maybe we can sit down and, and put our heads together and figure out some solutions. Okay. I'm going to put that fireplace in there and make sure I don't have any conflicts. Uh, but pretty close to getting the windows out on this side, and then have to start working on this side. And we, uh, we'll put some, some high windows maybe in the back of that garage and maybe a couple on the side. Um, I think uh, Leo's been working on the garage doors, and I believe, Leo, that we have some windows in the garage doors, right? Yes. Okay. Um, sure, and then we'll work on, probably start on that. That front entryway, and boy, I gotta get to that. Um, I gotta get get to that porter to share. So that's looking great, Lars. Probably in an hour or two, we're gonna be ready for siding, maybe. Yep. So um, I think that's all we have for now. Lots going on. Um, it's it's amazing how fast time goes by. We're two hours into the day already. Uh, on to uh, what would this be? Hour fifteen or sixteen? I'm losing Hour track. fifteen. Hour fifteen. Well, we've got. About nine more to go, so um, I, I think we'll be able to get very, very close. Um, and uh, so let's get back to work. All right. We will. Guys, in one hour.